We've all gotten some weird emails. Some we automatically delete, some we think are real but are actually scams, and some that are unbelievable. This one was unbelievable. About two weeks ago, I received an email from a sender I didn't recognize. Maybe it was just habitual, but I thought it was another one of those scams that I get often. Until I clicked on the email. It was from ABC News New York, and they wanted to feature my boyfriend and I in their upcoming TV special. Wait, what? No freaking way. So you're probably wondering how this all happened. Let me explain. If you guys didn't know, Amira created an amazing short film about our long distance relationship and how we finally met in person four months ago. We wanted to capture our experiences and share that story with those that are going through something similar during the time. And to no surprise, so many people related to it, including ABC News. To honor the two year anniversary of when COVID started, they planned to air a one hour segment on ABC 2020, highlighting all the changes that happened within those 24 months, from changes in the workplace, to family, to love and relationships. And they wanted us to share our story with the world. It was such shocking news, I had to tell Amir. It was an ordinary Thursday morning, just like any other. So when I first woke up and saw Annie's text, I wasn't convinced that it was real. This must just be another scam, another fake email, I thought. But sure enough, on Saturday, we hopped on a Zoom call with ABC and saw that it was real. They explained the project to us, asked us questions, and everyone was so excited, but we quickly bumped into a major problem. You see, the special was set to air in less than three weeks, which means we need to film our interview that week. Now, normally that would just be a really tight timeline, but when you take into account the fact that I live in Vancouver, Annie lives in Philadelphia, and ABC is in New York, now that's just plain impossible. So I let it go, thinking that it wouldn't happen. But then on Sunday, they called me back. Hey, how's it going? Listen, we're on a pretty tight schedule, and mm -hmm. we were just wondering if we could fly you out to New York for the interview. What? Well, okay, what are you, what are you thinking? Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm seeing you on a Wednesday. <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm anyway. Excited. Yeah. Anyways, I'm at work and I was just calling to say, holy, holy shit. Y'all, this is about to be the craziest thing that I've ever done, the most spontaneous plane trip I've ever taken, and probably the biggest opportunity I've gotten in my life. While Amir packed his clothes, I was getting the house ready. The last time I saw Amir was three months ago in Vancouver, but it's been about five months since he's last been here in Philadelphia, so there's lots of prep. New sheets, a place to put his clothes, and deep cleaning the entire house because we can't have a guest coming over with all this mess. But amidst all the excitement of packing and preparing, the nerves were growing as well. Guys, it's about 4.30 a.m. right now and I just can't stop overthinking. To be honest, I was feeling so worried. ABC had projected that 400,000 people would be watching and naturally, I was just scared of messing up. I'm usually not the best at public speaking and my insecurities were getting the best of me. At the same time, Amir was restless as well. Because his trip was so last minute, he didn't get his plane ticket or his itinerary until a few hours before leaving. He'd stay up hours refreshing over and over again, worrying that he wouldn't be able to fly. But we pushed through until finally it was go time. Just at the airport now, gotta check in. We have like two hours until we might leave, so hoping everything turns out okay. Here's the plan. Amir's gonna wake up bright and early, drive to the airport, and fly from Vancouver to Denver. After spending his five hour layover in Denver, he's gonna hop on a plane to Philadelphia where I'm gonna pick him up. So, Amir just texted me saying that he's boarding his Denver plane to Philadelphia right now. So, oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm literally seeing him in a couple hours. And although this whole entire trip is exciting, like going to New York, getting the whole interview with ABC, being on TV, all that stuff, I think the most exciting thing for me is the fact that I get to reunite with my love. at the airport. 
Court. This is actually where we first met, this little area right here. My heart is racing. I'm so excited to see him. Oh, it feels good to be back. <laughs> it feels really good to be back. As I walked through the airport, I was struck with nostalgia. You see, when I first flew here, I was a nervous wreck. I was panicking. I was a mess. But this time, though, was different. There was no more anxiety, no more fear, just the comfort of knowing that I was coming home. Here we go. Finally. I Hi. made it. You got here safe. And I, I get it and I got it on camera. Yeah, I was literally waiting down here so long for you. Last time I was here to pick him up in the Philly airport, I was literally late. He was already standing here waiting for me. So this time it's the opposite. And this time we won't hit a car on the way out, right? I'm a, I'm a safe driver. <laughs> I'm a safe driver, guys. I'm safe. I swear. Oh, the memories. It feels like I was just here yesterday right? in the car. <laughs> oh, I love having you here. I love okay. being here. Anyways, this is our night now. We'll see you guys in New York tomorrow. Peace. Bye. What's up, y'all? Today is the big day. We are driving over to New York right now. We're about to get going. I'm so excited, nervous, everything. I'm feeling it all at once. This is about to be one of the biggest opportunities, but also probably one of the most fun things that we've ever done together. So let's get this done. We are literally like about half an hour away. The nerves are fucking crazy. My hands are really sweaty right now. We haven't prepared anything. I feel like some people would prepare something. What the hell are we saying? How did we meet again? Who are you? Toy boat, toy boat, toy, toy boat, boat, toy boat. Swiss wrist watch. Y'all, I'm feeling so nervous right now. I'm not even kidding. This isn't for the vlog. I'm like, genuinely, my stomach is in knots. My heart is racing. Ah. <laughs> I'm just trying to focus on my breathing right now. Ah. Got our car parked, and we are currently walking to the location right now. It's about a block away, thank God. This is gonna be great, I'm so excited. We're gonna head over to the green room, get our hair and makeup done. See you guys in a bit. Uh, Looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, how, was your, how was your trip here? Uh, Very long trip. It was sleep deprivation. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. We are at the studio right now, just chilling in the green room. And he's getting her hair and makeup done. We're getting ready to go on and like. 20, 30 minutes or so once we're all glammed up and looking nice. I think the nerves have dissipated and now it's just excitement and I'm just ready to go. Okay. Yeah. So McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, hair and makeup are done. We're gonna do the interview now. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace. What did the pandemic teach you about life and love? You'll only know if you go. Blessings await you on the other side. You're sitting here, you're holding hands. Happy ending? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We just wrapped up the interview, and that was so much fun. Nothing but good vibes. Yeah, this amazing yeah. <laughs> producer. 
um, exactly the most amazing I'm introduce like, yourself to the I'm vlog Taji Smith ABC News I'm yeah. so happy to be here with you <laughs> lovely too. lovely they're and so shout out talented to everyone. shout out to the whole shout team. out to Greta as well after wrapping up downstairs, we made our way to the roof to shoot some b-roll and it was so much fun. It's honestly crazy to think that this all started with a single video. We didn't think much about it and never would have guessed in a million years that so many people all around the world would be moved by it. And as amazing as this all is, at the end of the day, we're just some regular 20-something year olds who happen to have a story. And if you think about it, we all have stories, don't we? So what if you put yourself up there? What if you shared yourself with the world today? When all is said and done, no matter who you are or where you're from, you are a story. And stories are meant to be told.